Hello to a new episode of Camera Shit and today I have some tips for you to shoot Hollywood anamorphic. A lot of young independent filmmakers are looking for the film look, the Hollywood film look. And um, most of the movies achieve this with anamorphic lenses and those lenses make movies just like, uh, yes, I'm watching a Hollywood movie with lens flares, for example, like this. And I'm reaching that without an anamorphic lens because those lenses are incredibly expensive and uh, if you don't want to sell a kidney to reach the film look then uh, listen to my tips. I have uh, two of those guys here. Ah, wait a second. So here. This is an uh, anamorphic filter I can screw to the front of my lens and then I got the lens flares and the stretch bokeh which is also um, a very interesting characteristic anamorphic lenses have. In the case of my uh, filming camera I have a um, filter which sits between the sensor and the lens so not screwed on the front of the lens. But there are other things you can do to reach the anamorphic film look and um, yeah just check out my tips now. So this is the vintage anamorphic filter it has a bigger hole to um, add 50 millimeter lenses to full frame lenses otherwise you have to use uh, 85 or more um, to avoid vignetting. This one is um, the normal anamorphic filter and this one is uh, made for the Sigma 18 to 35 millimeter, but I use it for um, almost uh, every lens because I put it um, in front of the sensor of the camera and that will give me the best um, results. In the middle there's the string for the flares, this one is uh, a blue one. Here I can screw them on the front of the lens. This is a Sigma 18-35 in that case. And if it is uh, fixed then you can dial the front because to reach the horizontal flares it has to be like that. And here are the results if you dial it. So you can produce some uh, really nice effects. So it's on you in uh, which direction the uh, flares will point. And here an example I shot at night and you can see um, the flares work best in darker areas. The results are pretty nice. This is a street lamp just to show the effect. Another example, same night. But there are some other characteristics and uh, for example here from Wes Anderson movies this is this uh, bending um, here in the background you can see the best in the, the bus. And there is a template from Vashi Visuals for After Effects and it creates this uh, bending. It's here the raw footage on the left and the final image. It's very easy, replace um, the dummy layer with your footage and you're good. There are a few things you can adjust. You have uh, some points here, some corner pins where you can adjust how strong this effect works. And the only thing you need is um, CI vignette. It's a free plugin. I put the link into the description and uh, the template asks for it, but um, you don't need that, it's, it's on you. Check out the effects and then decide by your own. On the Vashi Visuals side, I'll put the link in the description, um, you can find some uh, recommendations um, which focal length you should work with on, on uh, uh, which camera. So the combination with the filters 
and this template and a little bit of knowledge you can get some uh, really nice anamorphic effects. Overall I think this was a really good investment and it gives your creativity a new playground. So until next time.